real quick. See if he's heard anything. Tell him that we delivered the peace treaty. Hello, Governor. We have delivered the peace treaty, and the French have accepted. I mean, the Spanish have. We'll get those French later. As you know, we are at peace with all of our neighbors. Yes, trust me, I freaking know. I understand that recently you delivered a peace treaty to the Spanish and captured a Spanish brig. Excellent. I am pleased to promote you to the rank of Admiral and give you this fancy hat. Congratulations. Henceforth, ship upgrades are cheaper in Dutch ports. He also tosses you an extra 50 acres, but at this point it doesn't matter. Your kingdom stretches as far as your eye can see. Oh, I can never forget your face, madame. It haunts me to the ends of the ocean. Yes, I'm still looking for that ring. There's not any ring that will do. It must be perfect. Oh, you're so, so charming. You beat a hasty retreat after your false flattery. I think we've done everything we can do here. Let's sail away and go over to Maracaibo real quick. We've got that treasure we need to go get. The only people we have to worry about now, I think, are um, our pirates, other pirates. For the time being, we should be able to move around pretty freely. Let's stop in Louisville. One of our regular stomping grounds. They, they hopefully have heard more about us. Nobody wants to join, though. Yes. Sure, tell me what you know about Trinidad, and I'm out of here. Short little stopover. Didn't find anybody. We'll land near Maracaibo. And get our treasure hunting tools out. Avoid the rocks to the south, men. There's a reef jutting out. See some poor ship there. Gallows head. We're gonna go into this port real quick. Actually, no, we don't want to do anything. We might end up divvying up the money soon. Let's pull on the land here. Do you wish to form a landing party and go ashore? Yes, we'll anchor here. So this is our little group thing. We're on land. Let's check the map real quick, see where we're at. I want to zoom in. So, Maracaibo is to the north. And let's click on our treasure map. We need to go way, way inland. I need a compass. Which way am I heading? Looks like we're heading west. What is that? That should be a totem, I believe. Let's check that map once more. No, not Baron Raimundo. So this is the first totem. Captain Kidd's treasure should be... Is there a totem there? A totem there? Okay. Keep going this way. I believe this is west. What is this? You see a pile of skulls and a rock. Your men rush over to it and begin digging. Hope no spirits pop out of there, it's glowing strangely. Your men dig for several hours and eventually strike a chest. They find 8,000 gold pieces. The men cheer crazily. I don't think we can do anything else here. We'll press 5 and return to our ship. Wonderful, let's sell into Maracaibo here. Oh, I guess we can't. Sell away. Well, we got one treasure down then. Now we need to go ahead and go after Baron Raimundo. It was April 16th, 1642. You enter the port of Maidenhead, the English settlement. You enter the tavern. There's no one here looking for work. No one brave enough in this town. However, you find a treasure dealer offering to sell you a map. You buy a piece. Ooh, we already have the X marked on there. By a stone head and a dented cabin. Doesn't do me a lot of good, though. Let's get out of here. Not gonna talk to anybody else. Nope, we're not looking for anything. We're on a mission, however. To San Juan. First, of course, we stop in our capital of Caraco.
What is this? You see the Baron Raimundo pulling up beside you. You intercept him and attack. He is in a Spanish war galleon called the Real. It has 30 guns and 182 crew. Uh, thought I got away with it. Oops. It's on grape shot. I don't want to use that just yet. We're going to attack his ship. I don't want to sink it or damage it too much. You collide with the ship and begin to grapple onto it. You rush overboard and search him out. He emerges from the deck below. You will regret messing with me, Sergi. You'll meet the same fate your sister met. Ah, he slices you first as a bucket gets caught on your foot. Ah, he stabs you. You parry. He dodges away. You cut him low. You're quick, man. Who taught you how to sword fight? He jumps over and hits you. You have 52 men left. You parry his attack. He is relentless in his assault. I'm getting your technique down. You chase him up the stairs as he's leaking blood from his upper arm. You notice that your men on deck are beginning to falter. You use a scythe and hit him in the ankle. He surrenders his weapon. You are a master swordman, sir. I will reveal the truth to you that you seek. In honesty, your sister is still alive. She is held captive in a remote location, however. I will draw you a map and lead you to her. He gives you a pitiful part of a map, but it has enough information that you should be able to locate it if you look hard enough. He tells you it is in the vicinity of Cartagena, by a deserted cabin. We now have one part of the map. The Baron's men despise his cowardly act. While most of them fought to their death, he surrendered in order to spare his own life. Twelve of them that are left agreed to join you. The Baron was carrying a load of gold in his ship. After counting it, your men declare that there was 3,000 gold pieces on the ship. We're going to keep her and take all of her loot. We are going to go back to Louis. Well, no, we'll stop in Caraco. It is now May 8, 1642. You have information on your sister's whereabouts. The Baron has been brought to justice. Your fleet grows large. Your men are exceedingly happy. Life seems to be doing very well for you, Sergi. You pull into the capital of Caraco. Let's go talk to the shipwright real quick. Actually, hold on. Again, of course. Go to the merchant and sell some of this stuff. I don't believe we need that many guns. and They're taking up a lot of space. We'll hold at 100 guns just in case any get damaged. 95. 95. We don't need 42 months of food either. Come on. Let's sell that. And we'll have 18 months of food. Because we're probably going to hopefully be recruiting some more people soon. Now we'll go to the ship right. What ship do we not need? The SS Lock Coal has 254 tons. It's a treasure galleon. We're going to keep that. A brig of war illusion. We're going to keep that. We're going to sell you Infant D. Paleo. And this is a war galleon. 90 tons. We're going to keep that. It's called the Real. So I think we've got all of our ships then sorted out. Go to the tavern, see if there's anybody here. There is. There's a gangly group of 29 men standing around. You convince them to join you. Treasure man? Ooh, we currently have 20,000 gold. We will take this ring, though. But not for the governor's daughter here. No. So where should we go, then? We've been to the tavern, to the merchant, to the shipwright. We're gonna sail away. Let's see. 
We need to find where Cartagena is. Caracas, Gibraltar. Cartagena is probably there it is. We need to go all the way to the west. 